Welcome to this Lubuntu screencast and in this screencast I want to show you the installation of the brand new Lubuntu 11.10. First of all this is the live CD I put in my computer and this is the first screen that you will see so you can change your language with F2 here and choose whatever language you like you can change your key map if you have some special key maps or want to use the English um, language but want to use a um, German key map just like I want now. So I'm choosing German here, Germany as key map. I have some special modes with F4 available so if you have some graphical problems or you have some problems with graphical uh, user interface you can try uh, some modes here, you have some so, some accessibility options here like high contrast, magnifier, screen reader, braille, terminal, keyboard modifiers and on-screen keyboard. On-screen keyboard also very useful if you have a tablet and don't have a keyboard um, connected to your tablet. And F6 gives you some other options like uh, yeah, normally fallback options like ACP I off if you have some um, problems with your power management, no EPIC, no LEPIC add-on, no DM rate, no mode set, no mode, so uh, mode set very useful if you uh, have um, problems with the uh, free and open source uh, ATI or NVIDIA driver you can use that and one very interesting uh, thing here, the free software only. So if you care about free software and you th that you only want free software installed on your system, you can choose this option and this will then only install free software and nothing else. If you go out here you have also the uh, command line, the boot options basically and if you have some special boot options that you want to append uh, you can do so here uh, right before the double dash there and yeah let me just try Lubuntu without installing first you can also check install Lubuntu directly but let me do this and yeah Lubuntu will boot up as the Live City has booted the Live system you can see the brand new look and feel of Lubuntu 11.10 and yeah, what you can do is just try uh, some applications out. As you can see here, new drivers are available. Some drivers for my, I think, virtual box are here uh, available. I can install those drivers if I want to. You can see uh, the guest editions for uh, these are available. And as you can see the brand new look and feel of Lubuntu 11.10. I really, really like this. This is really, really well done. Uh, and yeah, this is... Uh, as every version it's uh, very very good. You can try out some applications here like the empty paint, simple scan, uh, internet, you can browse on the internet. Uh, this is also very handy if you want a secure internet connection with all your data uh, um, loss after uh, you surf the web. Uh, you can just use the live CD for that but also if you want to repair your system it's very handy to use the live system. So uh, now we want to install Lubuntu 11.10 so we click on install Lubuntu 11.10 and this will bring up the uh, installer, uh, Ubiquiti installer, which basically did not change uh, as much from the uh, last version so they did some um, handy stuff here and there but the um, basic overall function uh, stays the same so it takes a little bit long to start up ah, but there here we go I guess it's also funny that the uh, mouse cursor is changing its direction somehow as you can see here if, if the installer is uh, coming up I don't know why but <laughs> it's pretty funny so uh, yeah, this is basically the installer. Also, it has a revamped look um, to yeah comply the uh, basic uh, Ubuntu uh, ambience theme. Um, it's also written, I think, or rewritten in uh, GDK3. So first of all, you have to choose your language here. I choose English. Click on Continue, and then you will get to choose. I guess it's the uh, the the. Uh, if you want to download updates 
Uh, as you can see here, at least 4.1 gigabyte available f uh, drive space. I, I'm not sure if this uh, really is true. Um, my guess is that it's, I think, a little bit under those 4 gigabytes, or I think 3 gigabytes, or something like that, or even 2 gigabytes that uh, Lubuntu only needs. Uh, but make sure that you have at least uh, 4.1 gigabytes so that you can have a good experience and can install some applications uh, after the installation. Uh, make sure that you have your power source plugged in and that you are connected to the internet if you want to download the latest updates um, with checking this box here. Or if you want to download uh, third party software. So I don't want that. So I'll click continue. And the next step is basically the step to, I think, to prepare your hard drive. Yep, you have the option also, and this is, I think, brand new or was introduced with the last version, is that uh, from within the live CD you can now upgrade an older version like the 1104 wh which I'm having here on my hard disk on my virtual. Uh, I can just uh, directly upgrade from my live CD uh, by choosing upgrade uh, Ubuntu uh, 1104 with 11.10 or I can erase the uh, Ubuntu 1104 and reinstall the uh, Ubuntu 11.10. Um, as upgrading might fail and is a little bit problematic, I would suggest everyone to store um, uh, his home directory with all its uh, configuration files and so on and make a clean installation. Uh, but you can try out the upgrade process. If, it's fa if it fails, then uh, the best would be just uh, saving your home directory with all your configuration files and the important files that you have and then just uh, reinstall. Uh, make sure to have a separate uh, home partition um, which you can uh, then uh, just simply create by going to something else and then just simply create an, a separate home partition uh, if you want to upgrade in the future as well with this meth method. So I will erase uh, uh, Ubuntu 11.04 and reinstall Ubuntu 10 uh, 11.10. As you can see here 8.6 gigabytes on my virtual um, hard disk will be then used and the entire disk will be used. If you want to change this you can click on advanced partitioning tool which will open up a kind of uh, cheap parted like uh, partitioning tool which allows you to um, change the partition la partitioning layout. As you can see here it's using SDA1 uh, SX4 and uh, so basically my root file system and it's using uh, SDA5 as uh, the Linux swap partition with about 500 megabytes here. And you can also choose um, which uh, device it should load onto the bootloader. So if you have another bootloader installed you don't want um, necessarily to install it in the dev SDA MB MBR. You can uh, just uh, put it in the SDA1 uh, root partition basically or you can choose a different uh, hard disk if you have uh, multiple hard disks installed on your system. So I would say install now and this will basically install the system. Oh, no root. <laughs> of course I have to go back now. You have to uh, assign a mount point here but I'm a little bit lazy. So I will go back to the assistant and uh, let him handle this. Click on install now and then it will basically start in installing. As you can see here it will uh, format any uh, drives or partitions that you have assigned for formatting. And uh, then it will install the system and while installing it will ask some questions. So don't go away from your computer yet. Uh, just wait for the questions. Uh, there are we have some uh, medium important questions like this one here, your time zone. As you can see it detected my time zone as Berlin. This is correct. And the next one will be the, I think, the keyboard um, key map configuration. So you can then configure your key maps here. As, a, as you can see it shows uh, German here as I um, have uh, selected this uh, on boot up and but I want the special limited date that keys here 
you can test your key mod uh, layout here just works. You can also click on detect keyboard layout if you are unsure what keyboard layout to choose. Especially um, useful if you have multiple keyboard layouts here as you can see in my, my German language here. Uh, there are multiple keyboard layouts. If you want to have the best, the one that you are used to, you can uh, try the detect keyboard layout method which uh, works pretty fine. Click on continue here and I think then it will ask you, and this is very important uh, for creating a standard user, a default user. As you can see here, you have to type in your username. Hmm. It's lagging a little bit. So this is perhaps the downside while installing in the background, that it might lag a little bit on older machines, but as you can see, it, it's not crashing, it's working. So I have to create a user here, uh, create a password here, as you can see here, uh, to tell me if, if the password is secure or not. As you can see, it's a fair password. Not the best, but uh, it's just for testing purposes here. You can choose to lo uh, log in automatically, so you don't have to enter the password every time. This is very useful if you're the single user on your uh, notebook or PC. Uh, if you want to require a password to log in, then choose this one. And you can also encrypt your home folder so that uh, if your laptop mm, or your notebook was stolen or something, uh, without the encryption key, without the password to uh, decrypt your home directory, they won't uh, have any access on your data. So this is a very useful option here. But I will keep the default here. Click on continue. And as you can see here, the copy process is already uh, going on here, as you can see. And yeah, this is basically the installation of Lubuntu 11.10. So if you want to uh, just experience the installation process, then some slides will, I think, appear in a few seconds, which will tell you about the new features, the new cool and uh, great features of Lubuntu 11.10. Uh, if you don't want to, just go drink some coffee or something like this and uh, I think 20 minutes, at least 30 minutes. If you're upgrading, of course, then it will take a little bit longer, but then the system will be installed and you can just reboot into your Lubuntu 11.10 system. So this is basically everything for this short little screencast uh, showing you how to install Lubuntu 11.10. I hope you enjoyed this and yeah, thanks for watching.